rain. And we've got rain out there this morning. Scattered showers north of Houston right now. A couple of showers in Dallas. There'll be more as we head throughout the day. Jim and Steph. Well, of course, communication is still an issue uh, mm -hmm. where Good Hurricane time. Michael came ashore there. Gizmos and gadgets make our world go round until a hurricane comes along. And when that happens, we really turn back the clock. No cell phones, no internet, no electricity, no cold water even. Uh, we know that firsthand. And the ability to communicate creates a lot of frustration after a hurricane. Trust me. New technology, though, is trying to help Dave Malkoff now from Mexico, New Mexico Beach, Hurricane Michael's Ground Zero in Florida. having to drive at least 35 miles to get get uh, any kind of cell service. This was not the retirement Tom Damon and his wife imagined. The downstairs uh, totally wiped out as far as uh, uh, the water damage, the surge went through. Second floor uh, got damaged from the rain and the, and the winds. Dame was weeks away from making this Mexico Beach, Florida house his permanent home when Hurricane Michael hit. You have all the insurance people that personally we need to call. Uh, it's been critical for me to contact family. It's been extremely emotional for my wife and I. Communication has been a big issue here on Mexico Beach, but thanks to a brand new technology, it's getting back up and running. Yes, drones. It's, it's just a matter of setting up, you, you see the dish, uh, some electronics equipment, and then putting the drone in the air. So it's, it's pretty quick. Art Pregler runs the drone program for AT&T. You can put 6,500 simultaneous users uh, connecting through the drone, through this tether, into our network. And then also over at 400 feet, our drone uh, can, can fly, and that, that services a 14 square mile area. This thin, lightweight tether not only powers the drone, but it transmits data in and out for thousands. We use different drones depending on what the conditions uh, require. We're just trying to document the way things look now. Um, and most of the places that we go, there's previous Google imagery. So people can go back and you can do a timeline before and, and you can see it before and after. Using the newest high resolution camera and street level mapping, Mike Vorce is helping people get a Google street view of the devastation, all in a 24 hour turnaround. Initially, it's going to be a, a residents who haven't been able to make it back, people who vacation here throughout their lives, you know, who have a, you know, a connection with the place. But for Tom Dame and his neighbors who were able to get back into their homes, this technology is no longer a luxury. It's a downright necessity. Today has been the first day that I haven't had to travel out uh, to get cell service. In Mexico Beach, Florida, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. And it makes such a difference. We've become so dependent oh. on our phones and that, you know, form of communication. Think about before cell phones when this happened, when you had to go with a landline and that would be wiped out, right? Right. Yeah, you'd have to wait till they got the, the telephone lines back up or, like you said, travel 30 miles yeah. to find a safe landline. All right, guys, we will take you live to the floor of Panhandle, by the way, next hour uh, to take a look at the recovery, which, as you know, is going to be months in the making here. Yeah. Our Justin Michaels will join us from Panama City Jen. next hour. Yeah, well, I want to look at the weather, actually, um, here because it's been very hot. Days have been warming up, you know, into the...